Today we'll be looking at a 100% brand new Game Boy Color made in 2024. The FPGBC is a brand new inside and out Game Boy Color that you can get from Funny Playing in 2024. That comes with all the perks and all the extras you'd want from a modern day console. Funny Playing are a company that have dabbled in Game Boy mods for quite a while, with the IPS screens being the most noticeable product you can get. But the FPGBC is different in the fact that it provides you with the motherboard as well, a brand new printed motherboard in 2024. Now you can get the entire kit for around about £65. That includes buying the motherboard which comes with the screen, a speaker, battery as well. You can add in the actual case and then you can also add in the buttons and the membranes as well, all for a total of £65. With the unique thing being that you build and put together the FPGBC yourself. But whereas normal modern of Game Boys can be quite tricky and require soldering, the FPGBC is as easy as putting together Lego. The screen itself has sticky bits on the side which stick directly onto the case and it has a ribbon that you can plug right into the board. And the speaker and battery themselves also plug plugged directly into a socket on the board itself, meaning no soldering required in literally a few minutes of work. Once that's all done, you put your case together, screw it all in, and you're good to go. You've got a brand new Game Boy Color in 2024. Now it has to be stated that none of the parts are original Nintendo parts. And the motherboard itself is an FPGA motherboard, as opposed to the exact hardware that would have been used on the original Game Boy Colors. For anybody that doesn't know what FPGA is, it's essentially hardware emulation. Most emulation that people are familiar with is software emulation. It's basically a software program that's running and pretending to be the system. FPGA is hardware emulation. It's essentially a chip that's pretending to be the hardware. So it definitely gives better results than software emulation, but it has to be stated that it's still not 100%. There are some outliers whenever it comes to FPGA chips. Now those outliers are very few and far between, and most people will struggle to find them unless they are specifically hunting down those use cases. So for all intents and purposes, his FPGA feels pretty much exactly as it would on an original console. Now all the parts provided by Funny Playing are absolutely fantastic and feel so genuine and authentic even down to the Nintendo branding which I'm not even sure they should be doing. On top of that with all the cases you get the stickers as well including the helpline number which just gives that extra level of authenticity. Honestly side by side an FPGBC next to a normal Nintendo Game Boy Color it's really hard to tell the differences aside from the screen size and the screen is absolutely absolutely fantastic. It plays Game Boy and Game Boy Color games with glorious IPS quality and is one of the best screens I've seen. On top of the high crisp quality backlit IPS screen we also get all the extras that we wouldn't get in a normal Game Boy Color. For example the speaker just sounds absolutely brilliant and it comes with a rechargeable battery that you can charge through USB-C. This really does feel like a modern Game Boy Color as if it was created by Nintendo themselves in 2024. I throw my test and it plays every single Game Boy and Game Boy Color game I've thrown at it. Furthermore the volume rocker on the side also acts as a button to access the OS and in the OS you have options in terms of the screen size whether you want to go for the standard original Game Boy color size screen you can go for the option of a visual layer added on which gives you those glorious pixels or you can go for a zoomed in view which gives you maximum use of the awesome IPS screen furthermore you have options of picking what palette color you want to use when you're in the Game Boy mode as well as options to control the clock speed of the system honestly the FPGBC is an absolutely outstanding device and the best thing about it is the price for six £65, you'd be hard pushed to find any Game Boy console with an IPS screen for anything less than 100. And if we compare it to the likes of the Analog Pocket, the closest thing to the FPGBC, it really highlights the issues that I have with the Analog Pocket that I believe it's an overpriced product. Now granted, you can access more systems with the analog pocket, and some might argue that it feels a bit more like a premium device, but the FPGBC just shows how overinflated the cost of the analog pocket is and how reasonable outstanding FPGA consoles can really be. For 65 pounds, the FPGBC is in my eyes, the best option for a modern day console that can play Game Boy and Game Boy Color cards. And is easily one of my favorite new additions to the collection. If you want to get your hands on an FPGBC, the links will be in the description below. But if you want to have a look at a modern day Game Boy that can play even more consoles, check out this video right here.